What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the wild area pretty quickly, and, uh, well, we finally discovered what kind of Pokemon was in the Pokemon Egg. It was just short and brief and all that stuff, and yes, we got ourselves a Dreepy, we called it Dreepzilla, and, uh, there is a little something that I kind of want to do right here, okay? So... I realized that I already have a dragon type Pokemon. I might as well switch it out with something else right here. So I'm going to switch Bone Saw with uh, Shadow Blade. And I'm actually going to get that held item. And uh, let's see. Is there anything else that I can do right here? Yep, that's pretty much it right there. So yeah, Dreepzilla is going to stay as our dragon type Pokemon. And well, first is first. We need to actually grab this. Uh, this. Uh, Amulet coin right here because we need more monies and uh, monies we shall have and well let's see hold on just a sec right here yes amulet coin right here give this to a Pokemon that will actually get us something and we're gonna give it to Kiss since you know Kiss has been doing stuff for us okay so here we are in Hammerlock and well as you can see Bead is right here in front of the chairman Mr. Chairman I've been collecting uh, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, Bead. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that will help solve the problem with the that's been bothering you, Miss Right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's for the future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need more more than just wishing stars. We need powerful Pokemon trainer too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I will. I, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion's endorsed trainers, just how a class he was. Yes, you did. <laughs> He's yeah, suck it, suck it, Hop. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit. It takes a healthy, uh, it takes healthy competition to really keep the cha gym challenge energized. Challenger B, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? She is so serious, but she is so hot. Especially the way she walks in. Well, the chairman has found us, and he's like, I hope you were listening, Draven. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dynamax bands. There's more wishing stars than making uh, your Pokemon into giants, though. They hold, they hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Galar region sets its energy. Okay, and why is he in his chonies? I don't know. But I guess we're going to have to go into the castle right here. Man, this place is pretty awesome. The aesthetics is, you know, the castle aesthetics is just awesome right here. Okay, so here we are into the, I believe, the gym right here. Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant and a stadium. Okay. Now, have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. And we're looking at the tablet, as you can see. Look at that. See an easy to understand description of the energy plant. First, energy is absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium Tower. Then, it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and, uh, and delivered to people throughout the region. Okay, it makes pretty. It makes a lot of sense. Our lives in society require various types of energy sources, such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in the wishing stars. Huh. She's whispering, huh? Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Oleana decides to give me another earful. <laughs> Draven, I suggest you head over to the vault next. Just head, uh, head toward Route 6 from the stadium, and you should be able to find the vault without any issues. Okay. All right. Uh, so this is the stadium, and this is the final stadium, I believe. Final gym, whatever. And, well, if you talk to this guy, he's the ball guy. And he's going to give us a special Pokeball, and that is a level ball, which you can actually capture a Pokemon with, uh, what was it, lower level than your own Pokemon. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Pretty fantastic. Okay. So, we got to go to the vault next and see what this is all about. And, uh, well, the vault. Where could that be? Oh, Route 6. To the east. To the west. I don't know. I hope I don't run into Hop because I am going to laugh at him. I'm going to roast him, pretty much. Okay, so let's see. Uh, that is Hop's brother. I'm going to go into this house because if he can't see me, he won't know I'm there. 
And, well, let's see. Focus super strong to challenge. Okay, so yes, we are going to be up for the challenge. This is the power of Mr. Focus. Okay, so we needed this Pokemon battle right here. And we are taking on Black Belt Brian. And because he's saying focus, I'm only assuming that he does have a special item for us. I don't know. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. We don't know. And, yes, he has a he has a level 2 Cottony. So this right here is just a dead giveaway to what he has. And that is this. The Focus Sash. Which, of course, uh, keeps your Pokemon up to 1 HP. And, holy crud, the Endeavor attack really messed this up. So... There we go, another tantrum attack, and there it is, Cottony has been defeated. So that won't give us a lot of experience points, but still it's something, and Dreamzilla grows to level 2, fantastic, and uh, Black Belt Brian's like, <laughs> you won the battle of focus! Yes, we did. We kind of did. Okay, so after that, he will actually give us the focus sash, which can be useful for, you know, those Gigantamax battles and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. You know, I'm kind of getting a little sick and tired of uh, having having to see my Pokemon faint right here. So, uh, Blitzkrieg, I am going to give you... Let's see, where, where the heck is it? Yeah, I, I probably... You know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to give him a, a large rare candy right here. This actually... One large rare candy right here will give him 10,000 points. And right there, he will level him up to level 33. Okay. And this is exactly what I've been waiting for. It's evolution. Now, yes, Blitzkrieg has one or two evolutions, depending on its uh, nature. And I think I got an all-positive nature. So, oh, holy, hold the phone. Here we have Toxtricity. And I kind of need to look at its, uh, I kind of need to look at, the, at its uh, base form right here. So... Here we have the Punk Pokemon, the low-key form. So, high-key and low-key, I believe. This one right here, capable of generating a thousand or 15,000 volts of electricity, this Pokemon looks down on all it would challenge it. Ha! <laughs> I can see that. The Punk Pokemon. Okay. So, just like that, we're learning Spark. And, uh, yeah, eventually I'm actually going to show you guys uh, its, uh, high, its high, for or high note form. And if you guys know the difference between it, besides the obvious, you know, aesthetic and all that stuff, let me know. So now that it's evolved, I kind of want to, kind of want to teach it a better move right here because, yeah, you know, it's been a while since I've actually, you know, had this Pokemon uh, do something. So it can learn Throat Chop. It kind of messes. It kind of. It kind of messes me with me a little. And then a Heavy Slam, Iron Head, Flash Cannon, Earth Power. I guess the fully evolved Pokemon can actually learn something. But here we have Poison Jab. I needed this move for one of my Pokemon. So I'm going to uh, teach Blitzkrieg with it. And as you can see, its special attack is higher than its uh, physical attack right here. And this one's more physical than anything. So, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to give it Acid just for the time being right here, guys. Because it needs a better attack. So there we go. Learning that. And bam, it's cracked open. And Aurora Sphere. Still can't believe Bex can't learn it. Toxic Spikes, uh, Dragon's Claw. Oh, look at that. Superpower. Okay. Psy Shock. Okay, so we're yeah we're getting a little too ahead of ourselves. We have to talk to Hop's brother right here. So there he is, Batman himself. Driven. Seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But Hop, did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. <laughs> yeah, something did happen. He got his ass kicked. <laughs> oh, suck it, Hop. Suck it. He took uh, he took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee. It might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I've ha I had and I've no idea what what it was for. I bet you anything I know it was. <laughs> Maybe he's feeling down because he had some hard losses in battle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, how much I hate Hop. When you lose, you feel down in the dumps. But then there's no, uh, nowhere uh, left to go b back up. You've got to think on why it, why it was you lost, though. You know, that little brother of mine, I think he might, be, might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. Not really. Blessed! And look at the time. 
Nearly forgot uh, my meeting with the chairman. That only Anna really gets le lets him hear it uh, when I'm late. Now, if only I could remember which way to go. Uh, right behind me, bro. Anyway, I'd say you should go and say hello to Ryan while you're here, Draven. He's the greatest driver I've got, and the final hurdle you'll have to face in the gym challenge. He should still be around the vault. If you hurry, it's down uh, the way on the on the way to Route Six. Okay, all right. <laughs> Hop, you suck. Okay, alrighty, so I am going to visit you a little later because that right there is where you can change the clothes And I do need some new threads and all and uh, well Yeah, okay, so let's see uh, Ryan Yeah, Ryan the gym leader right here and Yes, I do see that pokeball. So I'm gonna grab that. Yes, and we found ourselves two hyper potions a little bit uh, of a step up from the hype or from the super potions and Well, let's see we're gonna be moving on right here Man, this place is majestic. It looks majestic right here. And, well, let's see. There's no sign in Pokemon Centers. I will be going in that Pokemon Center a little bit later on. But right here, you'll be able to find an item. And that is a Muscle Band, which is an item held by a Pokemon. This headband ex exudes strength, slightly boosting the power of physical moves. Hmm. should probably give that to my, uh... To my Blitzkrieg. And, let's see. Toxel are so cool. I really want one. If you got a Toxel... Will you please trade it for a Togepi? Uh, I don't think I have a Toxel because I just evolved mine. <laughs> I'll trade it to you a little bit later on. Don't worry. I will be back with you. But here is Ryan, the gym leader of this uh, whole area. Oh, if it isn't, uh, the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see. What was your name again? Do, 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 do. Ah, right. Draven. And if Leon himself recognized your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same, though anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Ryan has to prove they're up to it, earning seven badges first. I already knew that. Ah, so you're here to see our treasures, are you? Getting a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me, why don't you? Mm, well, I might as well follow him right now. Okay, so... We are being, uh, we're going to find the treasure right here, and he's like, I'll even spare you one of my league, uh, my league cards. So there it is, we got ourselves a league card. And, well, now go on! If, if it's the vault you want, it's up there stairs there. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna have to go up the stairs right here. And, man, medieval times, we're going into a castle, that is pretty legit right here. So, let's go right ahead. I do believe there's an item right here, and there it is. Grabbing ourselves the TM29 charm. Yeah, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of mad that you know TMs are relegated to like to to like you know weaker moves and all that stuff. But I do get what they're trying to do right here. And well, there's nothing else that you can actually find here. So let's go inside the, the castle. Can't believe I'm saying that. And would you look at that? Well, hello there, baby. I'm just gonna walk in there all majestically, and she's uh, looking at the drawings right here, and she's like, "Ah, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's the great. It's great that there's still treasured uh, tapestries that can tell us of the Galar's or Gala's history." The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths. The youths looking on the sword and shield that stopped the disaster. And the use being crowned. Hmm. Okay. These tapestries tell the story of the creation of the kingdom of Galar. Say, young Jim Ch Challenger, what sticks out to what sticks out to the most about them? Well, I want to say the darkest days because I want to know what that is all about. I already know what the darkest day is all about. Well, I, no, not the darkest day, but the two kings right here. Uh, right. That's got to be it. The story of the black storm that blotted out the skies was passed on through uh, through the years as a tale of disaster. That's what the dark dis the darkest day is. Was there really one only one hero, or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? Hmm, that is a good question right there. Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. I think I've got some theories now. I'm going to research the tapestries and a, a tad bit more. But you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you. So take a couple of these, and I hope you win. Uh, you, or help you help you with your wins and all that stuff, huh? So let's see. We done our part right here. I don't think we need to do anything else. 
And, well, let's go right ahead and uh, go back down. Please, Hop. Please, I want you to be around here so I can laugh at you. Again, I like to roast Hop because, well, I don't like him. And, well, here's Ryan. And he's going to be like, The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of Galarigian's uh, past. I suppose if we've gotten a modern or any modern hero, I'd have to... I, I'd have to be it. It had to be our champion Leon. Listen up, Draven. Your goal is to defeat that superstar Leon. So go conquer Route Six and train yourself up along the way to Stow Inside. Hmm, Stow Inside. Why does that sound so familiar? Ah, oh, crap, baskets. I think I already know what it is. And she's saying hi or bye. So, anywho, guys, we're gonna pause it right here. We've already uh, figured out something, and look at this. We found ourselves two X attacks. Now, let's go into the uh, Pokemon Center right here. Kind of wanna. See what this is all about. What do you sell? Ah, TMs! We can buy TMs. And yes, you can buy some pretty cool TMs right here. Okay, so I'm going to have my way and uh, buy some TMs right here. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we are going to be going to Route 6 and uh, figuring out some stuff right there. So, thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, the notifications button, and all that stuff. And yes, if you want to make a small donation to this channel, the link is in the description right there below. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go into Route 6. See you guys.